Mr. Ibu confirmed that he stopped dating this Jasmine lady after he caught her sleeping with his son in the latest leaked video that is currently trending on all social media platforms. Hi guys, you welcome back again to my page MJ Fun TV. Please watch this video to the end for the full reviewed leaked recording and videos of Mr. Ibu confirming that this lady Jasmine actually is sleeping with both father and son. Currently trending on all social media platforms this past two weeks is this news of Mr. Ibu and his family saga. This lady Jasmine, who we all believe to be Mr. Ibu's adopted daughter, is actually not his daughter but his side chick. It was revealed that Mr. Ibu brought Jasmine into his family by himself as a side chick and they were dating. But then he stopped having an affair with her when he realized that this same lady Jasmine left him for his son because when Mr. Ibu's health deteriorated and Mr. Ibu was falling ill and you know he was actually reducing in everything, the lady left him and ported to Mr. Ibu's stepson. So she's currently now sleeping with Mr. Ibu's stepson. And when Mr. Ibu realized this, he himself stopped having an affair with her. According to them, it's an abomination. This all happened before Mr. Ibu's illness. That was when Mr. Ibu's illness started gradually. That was when she left him for the son. Now she started claiming that their father and daughter on all social media platforms. Hmm. Wonder shall never end because this... Mr. Ibu is not in any way related to Jasmine. They are not biologically related and even adopted. She is not the adopted daughter like we believed. Just listen to this trending leaked audio of Mr. Ibu confirming to a lady in their family that this Jasmine lady actually is sleeping with father and son. So we're just going to play this bit by bit. We're going to play the first part of this and it's actually in Igbo language. So we're going to translate it for those of you that don't understand Igbo. According to this lady in question, in this voiceover that was recorded, she asked Mr. Ibu, so you dated Jasmine and Mr. Ibu said yes. The woman went on to say, do you know that the girl used you to make money and fame? She used you and still went on to sleep with you and your son. Mr. Ibu responded, I don't want to touch her anymore. And the lady went on to say, don't you know that she moved on to your son because she sees that your health is getting worse. She even calls you daddy on social media when you have no relation to her. Calling you daddy on social media while she was sleeping with you off social media. And when you felt ill, she then started sleeping with your son and started an affair with your son. And in the voiceover, Mr. Ibu actually responded. And you can hear Mr. Ibu saying in Igbo language that he doesn't want anything to do with her anymore. And the woman went on to say, I don't blame your wife. What she's doing is what any woman would do. No woman would tolerate the pain of seeing another woman sleeping with her husband. You know your wife won't suspect it us even having something but you know how can i even sleep with you someone i see as my own father figure and the lady even went on to say that that girl is evil she went on on social media to be saying daddy daddy on social media and everyone would think you are her father you know you once told me that ab that about her how you met her in Oweri, and you guys started a relationship and you were dating until you realized you know she was having an affair with your son and you stopped. Mr. Abu went on to confirm all this. So just listen to this voiceover. Yes, Ram, ram. 
so guys just like you heard in the voice over the lady in question was shocked the way jasmine was claiming to be mr ibu's daughter on social media the voice over recording between mr ibu and another lady in question so this lady was even saying that jasmine and mr ibu dated for a while and that she used to you know have an affair with Mr. Ibu and then she was using Mr. Ibu to make money. That she's always calling him daddy online but didn't tell people that they dated. That she spoiled Mr. Ibu's image but, you know, she's trying to earn money through it and grow her own self. But Mr. Ibu doesn't know it's because Mr. Ibu himself is ill. She went further to say that the painful part of it is that she's sleeping with him and still sleeping with Mr. Ibu's son too. Also, that she used him to get overnight fame online as Mr. Ibu's daughter, she claimed. She also said that Mr. Ibu told her years back about Jasmine, how she never let him go after they both slept together in Oweri, that now she feels he is not strong, and that is the reason she faced the son. Mr. Ibu said that I won't touch her again, and not after she slept with my son. She said she is hot with what Jasmine is doing. According to the lady, Mr. Ibu himself is also hot. Mr. Ibu said he won't touch Jasmine again after she has slept with his son. And you know, the fact that Jasmine claims she takes care of Mr. Ibu online, but she's not doing any of that in reality is what is painful. Also, that she's not even trying to carry the wife along. Jasmine wants to do everything about the donation all by herself. She's the only one in charge of the account. She's not giving any information of how the money is spent given the fact that she's not in any way related to Ibu's family. Mr. Ibu was just confirming what she was saying and all of that. He was also saying that the boy's problem is the mother and that, you know, she's evil. This went on and on in the conversation, but that is just the first part of this information. I don't know if you guys understand Igbo language, but if you understand Igbo language, you hear the first part of the conversation and you also hear Mr. Ibu confirming to all this that Jasmine is now having an affair with his son. Hmm. Fans on social media are not even having it at all. Well, that is the peace of mind the man will enjoy when he puts his entire household in order. Because according to most Nigerians, Mr. Ibu calls all this for himself by bringing a lady into his home. And this is so shocking because most Nigerian women are revealing that they thank God they understand Igbo language and they know that this is Mr. Ibu's voice and that the first time the wife cried out, they realized that something was wrong, that there is no way that full-grown lady would claim that Mr. Ibu is his adopted father. Meanwhile, 
it's obvious that something is going on between them right from the very first day the wife cried out years back after listening to this first part of this voice note all i can say is that hmm, this is really bad because why are some men easily manipulated what's stopping mr Ibu from strictly cutting ties with this jasmine lady you know, given the fact that even if they dated, she's no more with him and she's not having an affair with, you know, his son. What is stopping him from cutting ties with this lady and, you know, letting her go her way instead of coming to put her son down in his family? To the extent of even sleeping with Mr. Ibu's son and according to more information that has been revealed, this Jasmine lady just got married to Mr. Ibu's second son secretly. Hmm. A short video of Jasmine's former husband confirming that Jasmine was actually having an affair and sleeping with Mr. Ibu's son and he was scared for his life. Record that this Jasmine lady got married to an American Nigerian man just not long ago and they separated and divorced the marriage lasted for only nine months because this jasmine lady ended the marriage herself then saying that she realized that this man have kids and the man lied to him that when they started he doesn't have any children but eventually she realized that the man actually has two children somewhere and that was the reason she actually ended the marriage it was all trending everywhere on social media you know the marriage only lasted for nine months in a short video trending on all social media platform right now is a video of jasmine ex-husband confirming that jasmine was actually having an affair and sleeping with mr Ibu's son then he was saying that he was scared for himself as at that time even before their separation so this jasmine lady has been sleeping with mr Ibu's son even when she was married so rumors is now confirming that mr Ibu's stepson is one of the reasons jasmine ended her marriage because she wanted to be with mr Ibu's son as you can see she's no more married to her former husband and now she is in a secret marriage with mr Ibu's son which is part of the reason she left mr Ibu. listen to this voiceover by jasmine's ex-husband it's actually a video a video call record In the short video that I just played, you can hear Jasmine's ex-husband saying that Jasmine is sleeping with Mr. Ibu's son and he is scared for himself. You know, then they were still together. So he was confirming that Jasmine is having an affair with Mr. Ibu's stepson. Why claiming that Mr. Ibu is his father? Is her father rather? You know, she was claiming to be Mr. Ibu's adopted daughter then. Recall that days back, Mr. Ibu's wife posted online that the millions donated for the treatment of her husband has been hijacked by a lady, Jasmine. So this is sad because she posted it and people were bashing her until this information was revealed. According to her then, she said, Hello, wonderful Nigerians, friends and well wishers from all over the world. I want to use this medium to appreciate everyone who has contributed to the well-being of my husband. He's responding well to treatment and we believe we shall overcome his health challenge to the glory of God. Recently, there have been some malicious lies being peddled against me on social media and also masterminded by Jasmine Choma Okeke, who wants to take over my home, but God forbid. I will address Jasmine's excessive interference in my home affairs and other related matters when the time is right. For now, my husband's health is most important. Evil and lies travel faster, but truth always catches up and overcome. My hands are clean. My husband's recovery is my priority. All this started when Jasmine posted some information online claiming that Mr. Ibu's wife wants to buy Range Rover and, you know, buy a new house and do BBI buy and for 15 with the money donated by Nigerians. She just cooked that all up. Mr. Ibu's wife is revealing that that was all a lie. She went on to say that Jasmine just wants to be in charge of everything and hijack the whole money. She also revealed that the one million naira donation they talked about was paid into her account on her husband's instruction and in his presence to offset some deals at home front. I don't understand why Jasmine, a complete total stranger, should be dragging me over my family matter. I do not have access to the main assets bank account where people make donations it is being secretly controlled by jasmine yes she's cooking up all kinds of lies and propaganda against me in order to keep absolute control of that account 
How she manipulated her way and took control of that account is story for another day. Mr. Evil Wife revealed this. Hmm, this is shocking. There was never a time I asked anybody to buy a car for me. It was only mentioned in a private discussion between Jasmine and my brother and she recorded it as a tool for blackmail. It was an innocent suggestion to help me cope with the suffering I was going through with public transport while trying to coordinate my hospital schedule with the home challenges. This my brother has been living with us since 2013, long before people like Jasmine even knew my husband. He has been my strongest support and encouragement in these trying times, and he willingly helps me with some of the challenges that I cannot cope with. Yet an imposter Jasmine, who knows nothing about it, is lying against us. Jasmine said I took her name to a native doctor. This is a very funny lie. Please, I do not do native doctors or any form of fetish. Never, because I serve a living God in whom I trust always. The person that Jasmine claimed was calling her is actually my husband's cousin in the village, who has also been calling me to know the situation of his health ever since he fell ill. That is the man Jasmine and her cohort tagged a witch doctor. May God forgive them. Maybe Jasmine is indirectly telling us the kind of things she does to be able to manipulate people for her own selfish end. This whole campaign of lies against me started because I asked for the statement of the asset bank account when I noticed some funny attitude and movement, especially by Jasmine. I only asked for transparency in the handling of public donations instead of secrecy and hair was let loose. Till date, I have no idea about the status of that account. Very strange. But I will revisit this matter when the time is right. For now, I leave Jasmine and her gang to their conscience while I concentrate on my husband's quick recovery. This is so sad. Nigerians on social media and celebrities are all warning others to stop bullying Mrs. John Okafor, which is John Okafor's wife, Mr. Ibu's wife, who is actually current on social media. According to her, Jasmine is cooking up lies against her just to hijack the money donated for her husband. And this Jasmine lady is the one that started spreading lies against Mr. Ibu's wife earlier, you know, so that she can just have her way. This is shocking. Celebrities on social media like Adakao said she stand with Mr. Ibu's wife and her right to stand her ground as a wife and mother of four kids to Mr. Ibu, not for her to handle the funds if she doesn't want to, but at least let them stop bullying her by, you know, lying against her, especially by strangers like Jasmine. This is so heartbreaking. Husband and wife matter are tough, and it's easy to judge when you have never experienced being married. It's a popular expression in Nigeria that says, no, they put man for husband and wife matter. And this is exactly what Nigerians are saying. Mr. Ibu is one of the most kind human beings I know and always spoke very highly of his wife. Before all this temptation set in, naturally, a lot of water do pass under the bridge in marriages. So picking on a few specific from lifetime story between husband and wife isn't right because the full story might be a bit more complicated than it seems. Like Mr. Ibu's wife said, let's all focus on his recovery and, you know, set up a committee to handle the risk form for his medicals. So this particular Jasmine lady don't hijack it like she planned. Hollywood star actress Ada Kao went on to reveal that Mr. Ibu's wife is the most soft-hearted and kind person an emotional person she know that Mr. Ibu's wife is really caring and that lie on social media from Jasmine is not true. Well, Mr. Ibu's wife also reviewed this on Instagram. After that, popular Very Dark Man posted a video tarnishing her image. She wrote, Mr. Very Dark Man, first of all, I want to appreciate you in all you've done so far for the Ibu family. Using your voice and platform to call for help on behalf of my husband, you did a great job. May you be blessed. Please, I recently came across a video of you slandering my name, labeling me all sorts of names and saying a lot of things that are bad about me. My dear, you barely know me, neither have you lived with me. You've only seen me when you came to the hospital. Never have you had a conversation with me. I am very much aware that you are acting and saying all this because of what you have been told. So I do not blame you 100%. Please, very dark man, how can a sensible person be talking about doing BBL, buying an iPhone 15 or any other like Jasmine lied about me? Please, very dark man, that is not true. Hmm. She went on to say that... None of those luxury things was demanded by her. 
When my husband is lying terribly sick in the hospital, how can I, Stella Marie Sokafo, talk about all this when I have been sleeping in the hospital with my husband since he has been sick? So I will leave my husband to go and do BBL for who? Jasmine is using a private discussion conversation we had long time before all this. A casual woman talk we both had because I thought she was a girl my husband brought as a daughter and family friend. Then she recorded it and edited it and cut and joined, presented it to you as if it's happening now and you believed it you are even promoting it you are a very wicked person so i am a jezebel like you all claim and i've been living with my husband for 16 years which other woman have lived with him nobody except me do you know what it means to manage my husband she went on to ask hmm, this is really heartbreaking as she reviewed all this online according to the response she said mr abu is a very big brand he's a highly talented man he's a wonderful figure people know him people troop to my house to see him and i had to cater for all these things i do what he asked me to do manage him and his affairs that's what i've done and i've been doing it's a very big job and a lot of work just because things turn around and goes left then one girl came in and pretended to be helping only to want to take over the Ibu brand. Look, I'm not asking for anything. I accepted Jasmine because my husband asked me to accept her and now I'm being treated like I'm the bad person. Then you who know nothing about me, you just came into social media. Then you decided to talk to a woman who have lived with the most popular comedian in Nigeria for 16 years and have his four kids, which I lost one on the process. And you are here calling me a fool that you cannot marry someone like me. My dear, you are not the one on the process. And you are here calling me a fool that you cannot marry someone like me. My dear, you are not even married, so you don't even know what marriage is all about. I've been busy taking care of my husband because he's still in the ICU, but I cannot stand you running me down like this, which is why I'm correcting this impression you are laying out there. Come to think of it, very dark man. At the end of all this, the people giving you all the past conversation or information will all go away because Jasmine and my second stepson got married secretly and are both traveling to the United Kingdom as a couple in december i will be the person to live with my husband and our children as i'm talking to you i'm the only one living in mr Ibu's house only me and my children the rest live elsewhere because of the condition of the house they all left but i'm still here regardless and they are coming with all this propaganda only because i asked for an account statement to be shown to me so i can as well be informed on how affairs have been running is it bad so all these things you are tarnishing my image with was said and recorded unknown to me and who had no even intention with the hope of talking to someone I trusted has absolutely nothing to do with this current situation or donation. Furthermore, I only asked for an account statement to know how things have been going on. I never asked to take over all the finances or to have access to any account please i beg you my job here which i have been doing going to two months now since my husband was admitted has been to take care of my darling husband and i will continue to do so no matter what so if you are all out there saying that i have no right to know what was you know happening and what has been going on especially when i noticed some suspicious moves and plans to leave the country by the couple knowing that they are the one in charge of the account and the donation, then so be it. But please, refrain from tarnishing my name. This is the last time I will be speaking on this. My husband needs attention now more than ever. Thank you and stay blessed. As you can hear, Mr. Ibu's wife is revealing that this Jasmine lady is planning to leave Nigeria by December with Mr. Ibu's stepson, which is the same son Mr. Ibu revealed was having an affair with Jasmine. Hmm. This is really heartbreaking because... As we all know, Mr. Ibu's condition is really bad. Meanwhile, this same Jasmine lady is planning to leave Nigeria by December, which is just next month. And she's busy on social media, lying against Mr. Ibu's wife, spreading false rumors and lies against the woman. So Nigerians can keep batching her and, you know, ignore the fact that she is trying to escape with the donation. All the money donated for Mr. Ibu, she's the one in charge of the assets back account. And all this issue started because Mr. Ibu's wife asked for statement of account to see what is happening and know what is going on because she realized they're actually living the country 
you know, and she's now married to Mr. Abu Stepson. They did a secret court wedding and they have now married each other and they're leaving the country as a couple. So all this was revealed by Mr. Ibu's wife, as you all can see. Most of Nigerians on social media that were insulting Mr. Ibu's wife and now apologizing to Mr. Ibu's wife and calling out Jasmine to provide a statement of the account of the donation made for Mr. Ibu's healing so that, you know, we can know what is going on. I don't really know what you guys think about this. But Mr. Abu's wife also warned the very dark man who called her out on social media because of the lies he heard about her. Without even confirming the truth and knowing what is happening, he called Mr. Abu all sorts of, or Mr. Abu's wife rather, he called Mr. Abu's wife all sorts of name on on a Instagram post he made, which we cannot publish here because that video is really so heartbreaking that he kept doing a lot of terrible things to her. And now Mr. Abu's wife is responding to him that he knows nothing about what is going on. That the same Jasmine lady that is spreading lies and paying bloggers to publish lies about Mr. Ibu's wife so she can hijack the whole thing. It's the same person that sent him the wrong information he's using to judge her. So, like I said, I don't know what you guys think about this. For me personally, I think Mr. Ibu brought all these problems to himself, you know, by bringing that lady into his home and finding out that he's now sleeping with his son and having an affair with his son even before he fell ill. It was the right time to really disassociate themselves from her and, you know, send her out of their home. But instead of doing that, they kept the same Jasmine there and left her to continue. And people on social media were still thinking that she's Mr. Ibu's daughter, not knowing that she's actually not Mr. Ibu's daughter and she's just an imposter and a total stranger lying to Nigerians. And a lot of Nigerians have donated a lot of money to that access bank account, which she's the only one in charge of. And, you know, now that Mr. Ibu is ill, it's really sad because nothing can be done at this moment rather than, you know, praying for his quick recovery and trying to save him, which is the most important thing. So Nigerians on all social media platforms are already calling out this Jasmine lady to provide a statement of the account and leave the Ibu's family alone. Especially now she's trying to run to the UK and start a new life. Meanwhile, she claimed to care for Mr. Ibu and Mr. Ibu is still in the ICU. Meanwhile, she's planning to leave the country. That is so much um, for caring for Mr. Ibu indeed. So I don't really know what you guys think about this. But for me, I think the Jasmine lady really needs to provide a statement of account because it's very important. And, you know, the whole handling of the account thing should be stopped. She should no more be in charge of the account. Probably they should really get an organization or someone or something that can really take over this saga because she's just trying to manipulate everything and at the same time leave the country. For the fact that she's leaving Nigeria when Mr. Abu is still in ICU is one of the reasons I don't think she should even be still managing the account. I don't know what you guys really think about this, but yeah, comment down below whatever your own opinion is about this news. While we keep praying for Mr. Ibu's quick recovery, and we all should also learn from all this because this is something that happens every day and people just see the gist and laugh and, you know, do nothing. They don't learn from it because this is really happening every day and it's really heartbreaking. We'll see you guys on our next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. For daily entertainment, news, and celebrity good and bad updates, and all you need to know that's happening in the country, don't forget to hit this red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to always stay connected to us. One love and God bless you all. Don't forget to thumbs up to this video and comment down below what you think about this.